Hello YouTube, so today we're going to be testing would a road sign kilt slash road sign armor actually do anything to save you? So we're going to be starting with some low level threats you encounter in Rust, starting with a rock. Next we have a wooden spear. And then lastly for today's test, some arrows. So I have two different types here. I have some lighter stuff, we'll call them the high velocity arrows, and then some more beefy arrows. This would be interesting because the spear has a lot more mass, but I'm interested to see what this actually could do. I don't, I don't have my hopes very high, but it's actually decently thick, so we'll see. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start with our rock. I'm actually really impressed with how much of a bend that put in that. That would really be quite the impact. So still, I would think be pretty survivable. Maybe you'd break a rib, but nonetheless, didn't penetrate it, so. As to be expected, but good God, I mean, look at that thing. Remember that was bent outwards toward us initially, so let's move on to something more substantial. I'm no Olympic athlete or Zulu warrior, but we're gonna go ahead and give this a try. It's awfully pointy, so we'll see. Nope, just not quite enough force. Actually, believe it or not, that little dent, that was the last throw we put on that, so Maybe if it was still playing, maybe with enough force you might put a little dimple in it. But yeah, by no means are you going to be injured by a wooden spear if you had road sign armor. So there you go. That's actually served some protection. I have 50 pound recurve, very similar to the one in the game. So we're going to go ahead and start with the lower velocity homemade arrows. I will add these do have metal tips, so the default arrows in the game are just wooden points. They may or may not pass, but unfortunately for today I don't have any. If you'd like to see that, throw in the comments and let me know and I'll make some that are just simple wooden points. See how well that fares against the road sign. Without further ado though, let's give it a shot. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that put quite the hole in there. But the arrows didn't go much further than that. So I can't say that that would actually hurt you very much. I mean, maybe a little bit of a point, but they hardly opened up a hole. So maybe a minor injury? Yes, absolutely. You'd get poked <laughs> for sure, but that's survivable. It's 100% survivable didn't even stick into the foam at all. I'm impressed. You legit could get away with making a road sign armor. So last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and try the higher velocity arrows. I think those will have the best chance out of these to stick in it. Right on, so here we go, high velocity arrows. No go. So we just got a little closer. Well, I can't say I am beyond impressed. That's it. I mean, yes, absolutely poked some holes in it, but to give you an idea just how deep, and these are about equal to the other arrows. They whapped it just a bit faster. That's it. That's all there is to it. I mean, really realistically, you'd be fine. I mean, sure, some scratches. You can see there's definitely an impact going on here. The foam's actually displaced a little bit in the target. So this is really getting hit with something, but it's, it would save your life. It absolutely would save your life from all these threats. So very interesting. Well, what can I say against low level threats and rust? You would absolutely be fine. That's, I'm, I'm so impressed. I thought at least the high velocity arrows were gonna stick through this, but no, you, a road sign could protect you from all this stuff. I'm, I'm so impressed. I did not expect this in the slightest. So a couple other things I could think of is I do have a compound bow in my axis. So if you're interested in that, like I said, throw in the comments below. We'll do a video on compound bows and a little higher level threats per se. Maybe move it up to some actual handguns, rifles, that kind of thing. I'm certain it'll be defeated at some point, but it'll be interesting to see what exactly stops it and what can't. One more idea that could be an improvement. It's not in the Rust game, but it could be added very easily, and it would actually add some very serious 
substantial damage to this, perhaps even defeating it. Uh, it's time proven, it's used by Romans, if you haven't figured it out by now. But if you're interested in that, there's gonna be a video follow-up to that very shortly. Thank you all for watching. If you have any more Rust in real life video ideas, throw them in the comments below and let's hear them.